So two things going on on the Max Track Live Doppler this morning. A whole lot in the way of anomalous propagation, uh, not actual precipitation, this ring around the radar site. But as you go out west, those couple of pops of green west of E-Town, those are possible showers, sprinkles probably, if much at all is getting to the ground. So if we zoom in, you can see how everything just stays static as that uh, time lapse progresses. That's that indication of false echoes there. Uh, but as soon as you pop out west, yeah, there are some showers moving across western Kentucky. Not just showers, some rumbles of thunder, some lightning, storms back towards Paducah. So some active weather there. You go up towards Chicago, it tapers off. But as soon as you drop into western Kentucky, it's on. So they do have an active morning. They've got lightning. They've got heavy rain coming into western Kentucky. And I'm showing you this because this batch of showers and storms uh, sparked by a ripple of low pressure will hold together just enough that a few of these showers out west may make it across I-65 and graze our western counties as we go through the morning and early afternoon. The better chance, though, is going to remain into western Kentucky. And not much in the way of a severe threat out there. They've got a marginal risk for Memphis later on this afternoon as some of those storms dive south. Tomorrow, it runs from Dayton, Ohio, all the way back to Billings, Montana, that marginal risk, but then into Friday and into the weekend. This is where things start to get interesting, and not in a good way for the midsection of the U.S. and west of the Mississippi, primarily. Uh, that severe storm threat, although there's a lower threat up across Ohio. Uh, this is where the active storms are going to be. That's where the severe threat will be going into the weekend. And here we've got a whole lot of heat. Now, the LEX 18 Storm Tracker Future Track in the short term does bring a couple of those showers, tries to bring them across I-65. They don't have much luck. So there's the low end threat for that. What a lot of us are going to end up with mostly to eventually, uh, well, partly to eventually mostly cloudy skies today. So not quite as nice yesterday. The extra cloud cover will help keep temperatures in check a little bit. Tomorrow we go partly sunny and we warm up in a hurry. And then Thursday night and into Friday, there is the potential for another round of storms, probably weakening, uh, but could be an early morning wake up call going into early Friday morning for us. So a little bit of that to have to deal with. Mid 40s, it is chilly. We've got a wind out of the south at seven miles per hour. You've got fog in Harlan again this morning. Most folks not impacted by fog. A little bit of patchy stuff around. And after a chilly start, we should get into the 60s later on today. But check out these highs. You want some consistency? You want a summertime field or storm tracker forecast? We got that. We're going to get into the upper 70s tomorrow and then get into the low to mid 80s and stay parked there through the weekend, throughout much of next week. So it is really, really warm out there. Now, our record highs this weekend, Lexington would have to get into the low 90s, so we're not likely going to set records. But this is consistent, sustained, above average warmth. When you look at our average high for this time of the year, 74 today, it goes up to 76 by the end of this run of days. That's some heat. You're going to be looking for an open pool. You're going to be running the AC. It's going to feel more like it's mid to late June as opposed to mid to late May. Upper 60s today, though, so still running coolish, slightly below our average high, mostly cloudy, an isolated shower, thunder shower possible. Tonight, mid 50s. Tomorrow, we should jump probably into the upper 70s, maybe pushing 80 degrees. And here you go. Not a huge shower or storm threat for the weekend beyond that chance for a few for, uh, Thursday night and Friday morning, but boy, those temperatures really, really warm. We may have our next better chance for scattered showers and storms Sunday night into Monday.